Hi there, this is Marcus Cox. Uh, this is a personal testimonial on uh, some weight loss that I've been experiencing lately with a new product that uh, is actually not even released yet. I managed to get some samples of that. My wife and I were recently at a convention in Los Angeles and managed to get these uh, homeopathic drops that uh, we've been taking every day since then. We've been on the product uh, 15 days now. I have lost 21 pounds and Sandra, my wonderful wife, has lost 10 pounds. We were, I was a little, conf we were a little uh, smitten by the weight loss and we wanted to know if it was dangerous and all the specifics on it. So we asked a friend of ours who's a, a medical doctor and also has a PhD in cellular biology to explain why we would be experiencing such rapid weight loss and how these uh, drops work. And I have a recording of that call and uh, I'm going to play that for you now. Dr. Oregon, I just wanted to ask you about our weight loss drops. Okay. If you could give me some information about the validity of the drops and their origin and um, anything else you could tell me about it. Okay. It's my understanding that um, they were tested for two years before Rx got them. Um, they were formulated using homeopathic uh, ingredients um, and tested on over 1,000 patients uh, for safety and efficacy, and all of them lost weight. And uh, my, my druthers are that Rx, since the company was only seven or eight months in pre-launch and only been three weeks now and since we launched, didn't do the original testing. We obviously did a, a small testing with selected uh, um, independent representatives and everybody lost weight. But it's my understanding that, that you're on 1,250 calories a day <clears throat> and these drops taken before meals help metabolize about another 500 calories of fat in your body. And that's why you can go ahead and, and lose weight fairly quickly and safely. Um, there appear to be no side effects whatsoever uh, where other diet programs sometimes leave you anxious and, and uh, with palpitations. Um, nobody seems to be having any adverse side effects except losing, losing weight. <laughs> yeah. I have to agree with that because um, I've been doing it for two weeks and I haven't felt anxious or anything that I normally would if I was cutting down on calories like that. And actually I feel more stable, I feel more centered and more relaxed and I'm able to sustain energetically throughout the day. So, yeah. I, I suspect that what we will find is that a population that's that either is pre-diabetic or has metabolic syndrome, which is high blood sugars, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, that after they lose weight, they will find all of their numbers coming back to normal, and then not being diagnosed as being pre-diabetic or um, uh, having metabolic syndrome. Uh, when you lose predominantly fat like that. I mean, you're, you're talking 1,750 calories a day, of which almost a third of it is, is fat loss. Wow. That you're take, taking fat from your body. Um, fat is the, is, the, is the storage form for energy. It's nine calories per gram of fat. So you have a tremendous amount of energy in there. So when you metabolize that much fat, you're, you're converting it into energy and you're losing the weight and you know you don't feel depleted you don't feel racing uh, you don't have that that sluggish feeling if after you hit the wall um, what you're doing is you, you're taking stored calories and you're getting rid of them and obviously the, the weight loss is phenomenal I mean in the in the studies that that we did in RX um, there were uh, you know, a few patients, a few patients, a few representatives that lost um, only a, a minimal amount of weight, you know, 10 or 15 pounds, and then there was one individual that lost 65 pounds in, in over eight weeks. Um, and obviously, um, that, that's phenomenal. But when I when I saw the pre-picture, 
and then saw him on, on stage at convention, I didn't know who he was. That's oh. the difference. That's huge. It is. That's huge. And, and you know what I have found amazing? I mean, I, this week, I have put on pants and shorts that I haven't been able to wear for years, and they fit, and they're actually getting loose. So it, and you're, you're going to find that. Yeah. Um, now, I, I talked to a mother and her daughter this morning from Vermont um, who were interested in weight loss, and I said the drops weren't available to the general public yet, not for another four or six weeks. But I said you need to, to prepare your body uh, for this weight loss. Um, when, when you tend to store excess fat, you may not be eating properly. So you need to make sure that you're getting the proper vitamins and minerals. And what's important about this is that four of them that's, that are very important, vitamins A, D, E, and K, are fat-soluble. So when you, you, those are the only four that we can store. The rest we have to consume every day. Oh. So when you have a built-up amount that's stored in fat, and you start rapidly losing the fat, you're losing your vitamin stores. Well, K is is important for clotting. This is not this is not the predominant K that that is for bone health. That's vitamin K2, uh, and a, you know small amount of that is also stored in in fat. Uh, vitamin D obviously affects 3,000 of our 22,000 genes, so it's important for everything from calcium metabolism to to uh, uh, boosting the immune system, that's fat soluble and stored in fat. Uh, vitamin A, which which helps with certain types of of blindness, um, that's important. That's lost when you start losing the fat. And then the last one is vitamin E, which is important for for memory, cholesterol, skin, eyes, as well as fat metabolism. Um, when you start uh, uh, losing fat, you lose those stores of vitamin E. And there are like five forms of vitamin E that are important. Um, alpha tocopherol, which is one form, and gamma tocopherol, in conjunction with it, um, studies have shown that there's there's like a 25 to 40 percent decrease in, in certain cancers. So if you start losing that because you're losing the fat, then you have to make sure that that you have adequate stores in the future. So. I recommend taking a good nutritional uh, that contains vitamins and minerals that are plant-based, food source, biologically available to the body so that you can start doing that. Also, one of the causes of obesity is, is the fact that we don't eat properly. And when you, you know, we're on a fast food diet, if, if you look at everything that's happened in the last 100,000 generations, the majority of those generations ate essentially a caveman diet. So you ate about 2% meat. Most of the time the meat ate you if it caught you. So we, we have, out of that 100,000 generations, the majority of them being caveman, 500 generations since the start of the industrial age, and two or three generations since the advent of fast food. Well, when you start eating fast food, it's non-nutritious, um, it's filled with fat, and couple that on, on top of being on antibiotics for everything from viruses to, to things that you don't even need antibiotics for, and you start killing the normal bacteria in the GI system that help us with 80% of our immunity. So when, you get in a, when you're anticipating going on a diet, you want to retrain your bowel, and that means that you need to be on a good probiotic. Well, Rx has a good probiotic in its pure nourish. Um, so as in preparation for these drops, you start getting your body on a reduced calorie intake. You give the body food-based, biologically active vitamins and minerals, and you give it a tremendous slug of probiotics to replenish the normal bacteria that will help convert some of these nutrients into things that we need. They're called essential nutrients because the body can't make them. We, we rely on our bacteria. So. That's what I recommended to this mother and daughter. And then um, right now I'm waiting for the drops to come in, and, and I'm on the pure nourish. You know, I've lost about eight pounds just in the last uh, three or four weeks on pure nourish. 
but I notice a change in my GI system because of the probiotics. So wow. that's what I recommend. And when you look at it, this, this, is, this is what Mother Nature intends our bodies to, to do. Um, we, we have tremendous synergistic effect between the, the bacteria that normally grow in our bowel that are protected um, and what our body needs. So these bacteria help break down products so that we can absorb them in a biologically active form. Otherwise, we can't make them from the inside. So, Ellen, um, this is Marcus. Uh, the, I, I mean, I've lost 20 pounds in uh, 15 days. And uh, it's, it's, that's been really hard for me to do at any time in my life. Uh, do you know why it would happen so quickly? Well, again, because you're on a reduced calorie diet, and you're taking something that's that's taking fat that you stored from previous meals and you're burning it for energy, you don't feel hungry. It's as if you ate 1,750 calories a day instead of 1,250 calories a day. You're burning, you're producing energy from 500 calories of, of uh, fat that you stored in the past. So it's very easy to lose the weight because your body has a certain amount. Now, the, the big question that everybody's going to ask is, what happens when you come off the drops? Because you don't, you're not going to be on the drops the rest of your life. Um, what will happen is that your, your body will be used to being on 1,250 calories a day, so you can actually go up a little bit and still burn it without, having, without storing it. You change your eating habits. So your body will get used to it. We're still programmed the way we were 40,000 years ago um, when the predominant foods that we got were fruits and vegetables and nuts and barks and saps and things like that. Um, our body's still trained that way. It takes thousands and thousands of years for our genes to change. And, you know, we've had two generations that are, that are on McDonald's, and um, we're, we're not trained for that at all. And then you get these companies that produce the pink slime. I mean, they finely textured, treated meat. That's what, that's what they prefer to be called. Um, it's not nutritious. <coughs> so when you come off the drops, your body will have readjusted. You will have changed your fauna and flora and your GI system where 80% of your immunity is formed. Um, and you'll be better off. And the weight should not come back on. Uh, that's well, thank, thank you so much. That, that's just such a, uh, it's really good to know that. I had no idea. I mean, I, just watching the weight drop was enough for me, but I mean, hearing all the history and the, and the uh, scientific data and everything behind it, it's really, that's powerful, powerful information. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm sure people are thinking, okay, I can't take the drops forever, so what's going to happen when I come off? Am I going to regain all my weight? I don't think so because you're, you're retraining your body and you'll be able to eat a little bit more and by eating a little bit more you'll still have the same number of calories to burn but you won't be storing the excess calories as fat. Plus, you'll have all your stores, your, all your fat by, uh, soluble vitamins will um, still be there. You'll have, you'll have whatever, you know, you're always going to have some fat and you'll, you'll have them stored there for future use. Oh, that's great. Okay. I, I, I feel confident enough, uh, I think I can lose 50 pounds. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's possible. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to when I get my drops um, because uh, I think uh, I can go in and, and uh, drop enough weight and bring me back to the, to the point where I was before I had metabolic syndrome. I have metabolic syndrome. Oh. I mean, it's, it's under excellent control. Uh, and when you look at my numbers, you think, well, you, you can't possibly uh, have anything. But I want to be to the point where I don't have to worry anymore. Yeah. Can, I, I got no, too much life to live. You know the part about how it, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say reprogram, reprograms the hypothalamus. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, the hypothalamus is the master control of the body. I was just teaching this to my anatomy students yesterday, as a matter of fact, 
uh, the pituitary gland itself is the master gland. And so the hypothalamus actually directs either the, form of the secretion of or the non-secretion of certain endocrine hormones that are, that are important for metabolism. Uh, for instance, when you get cold uh, and you begin to shiver, uh, the hypothalamus uh, gives out signals so that we increase thyroid hormone to boost metabolism so we can generate heat. Uh, and then once that occurs, the, the negative feedback comes back to the hypothalamus and says, we're, we're fine, you don't need to do this anymore. So the, hy the hypothalamic control of metabolism and, and weight is very important for digestion. Um, you know, the, the pancreas is, is primarily a digestive organ, but it's also a, uh, an endocrine organ uh, in terms of the fact that the difference between digestive juices and endocrine hormones is that the endocrine hormones are, are put directly into the bloodstream, does not go through a duct where amylase to break down sugar and or carbohydrates and, and uh, lipase to break down fat occur uh, from enzymes in the pancreas that go through ducts into the GI system. So the hypothalamus is the master control gland for all of metabolism. And, and, the, and the drops, uh, I guess they interact with the hypothalamus. Right. They, they help reset the, what's called the, the, um, the set control for metabolism. Um, you know, it's, 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 like a, it's like a thermostat. Uh, if you're comfortable at 70 degrees, you have a thermostat set at 70 degrees. When, uh, in the summertime, when the temperature gets warm in the house, the air conditioner comes on and the temperature gradually falls down to a little bit below 70 degrees where um, you've now passed the set point so the thermostat turns off the air conditioner and then the temperature begins to rise slightly until you get to that set point and then it'll pass it and then that's why the air conditioner cycles on and cycles off. So the hypothalamus does that too based on uh, the target organ and uh, the negative feedback from the target organ. For instance, um, you get hungry, your stomach growls, um, you're producing a hormone called ghrelin and ghrelin causes your stomach to growl so your body knows that you need to eat. So it's because your blood sugar has dropped low so you, you eat and your blood sugar is, uh, goes up as you begin to digest your food and then your pancreas now puts out insulin to lower the blood sugar by causing the glucose to go into the cells for metabolism. So again, if your blood sugars will begin to fall after you eat until you get hungry again. So you keep resetting your set point uh, on your thermostat. So the hypothalamus is involved in, in almost everything. That's why they call it the master gland or master control center. I've really noticed on this uh, taking the drops with the pure nourish and the uh, optimals that the gnawing hunger and the I mean, I was almost afraid to go on this diet. You know, 1,250 calories is like, oh, my gosh, because of, of my eating habits. But since, I guess, after the first three days, it was pretty mellow. And now I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone. I mean, it's just we, we start out, uh, we're, under, we're under 1,250, and we're pretty happy. It's pretty amazing. I know. I know. Your body will get used to uh, what, what you give it by not having the, the big fluctuations in your blood sugar. Now, in preparation for, for Slendrix for me, just being on the pure nourish, I can go ahead and, and make my shake in the morning, and then I go well into the afternoon before I get hungry again because my blood sugars are stable, and I notice that my blood sugars are perfect in the morning when I get up. So I don't get the highs and lows that I used to get, and consequently I don't crave as much sugar as I used to. I'm finding even my, my drinking of, of soda has gone down considerably um, in, in anticipation of going on, on the drop. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with, with an 8-pound weight loss in, in uh, a little bit less than a month, but I expect it to pick up once I start on the drops and reset my hypothalamus. So that's, that's 8 pounds just on the pure nurse without the drops, huh? Exactly, and, and calorie restriction.
I'm sure I'm on more than 1,250 calories a day, maybe not much more, but I'm finding that, that my, blood, my blood sugars are stable and, and uh, I'm not going from the highs to the lows and back again. So, Dr. Oregon, one more thing, actually, uh, before you go. Can you tell me uh, why the Restorix is an important piece in the weight loss, preparing for the weight loss program? Marcus, that's a really good question. One other thing that gets stored, uh, a number of things that get stored in fat uh, as we accumulate through the years is, is toxins. Toxins or uh, drugs, things like that, are all stored in fat. So when, when you do any kind of weight loss program, you have to always worry about all of a sudden all of these toxins being released from, from the fat that you lose. So when you add Restorex to a weight loss preparation program, you help remove some of these toxins. So your blood levels and your GI levels go down, and then, of course, uh, periodically you're going to have to re-equilibrate. And what that means is that as your levels of these toxins in your body go down, your fat will continue to lose some more, and the blood levels will go up temporarily, uh, and Restorix will take care of that. All I right. hope that helps. Very good. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. So as you can see from that video, uh, we, I lost a lot of weight in a short time, and my wife lost a lot of weight too. And you know, Dr. Oregon really put it in perspective on why this stuff works. Um, anyway, here I am now. It's uh, This was three months after we started the diet. I lost uh, 38 pounds. I might have my math wrong. <laughs> I lost quite a bit of weight. And I look a lot better wearing a, a, a smaller bathing suit and everything. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, this is now... Uh, November, and I've been off the off the uh, weight loss drops for ooh, just about three months now. And I found this shirt. See this shirt here? This is uh, a <laughs> from Expo '86. This is a blast from the past. And I found it in my closet. Not not that I'm a pack rat, right? Uh, but I found it in my closet. Kept it as a souvenir. And what happened was I grew out of it so fast, I couldn't wear it anymore. And so I put it in my closet, and then uh, pulled it out. And this is, uh, I was able to put it on and it looks pretty good. So gosh, how many years is that? That's uh, it's a long time ago. And I, I was up at 250 pounds at one point. It took me 20 years trying to lose weight until I discovered the Slendrix. Uh, and now I'm able to wear this shirt again. So this stuff is really excellent. Uh, very different than most any, everything else I've tried. And it... Uh, best thing about it is I've been able to keep the weight off now. I've been off the drops for three months and I've actually lost another pound. I'm down to 190, 194. I uh, actually touched 193 this morning. So this is a really great product. So get back to the person who uh, sent you this video and uh, find out how you can try this product for yourself.